Hello everyone. It feels so good to be out with my camera again. My family and I are here at the Rose Garden in Tyler, Texas. The roses have passed their prime now, but there is one of the advantages of having a macro lens. You can eliminate unattractive and unwanted features by moving in closer, or you can pull back on the scene when you find some in good condition. You know I love to take photos in overcast conditions. We planned this outing with the weather report predicting light rain and overcast skies. Well, that is not the case now. We have beautiful clouds in the sky instead, and the sun is doing its job shining bright overhead. The clouds are moving fast and not providing much coverage. The harsh light on the roses make the colours and contrast a challenge to deal with. My approach is to underexpose my images just a bit, and I use a dark vignette when I edit the pictures. It has been about three years since I started using my 100mm macro lens and I can tell you I am still exploring what I can and cannot do with it. I love that this rose is tucked away in a hollow surrounded by leaves everywhere. If I lower my lens and pull back a bit, the surrounding leaves in the foreground create a natural blurred vignette. Every now and then when a cloud does pass over and block the sun for a moment, I wait till the wind calms down and take a photo. I want to experiment now for a while by moving in closer. With the same concept from earlier, where a rose receded in the background surrounded by blurred leaves in the foreground, this time I want to concentrate on focusing closely on the stamens and stigmas of a rose while the petals are out of focus. I'm still underexposing the image a little to get detail on some of the petals because the bright sunlight can easily cause the highlights to be blown out. And this time, unlike using a dark vignette when I edit the photos, I use a white to light pink vignette. A photo walk would not be complete for me if I don't try to get at least one image with my phone, so here's one with the Olaclip macro lens. Thanks again for watching my videos. I hope all of us get to go out and enjoy some sunshine and photography in the coming weeks. See you next time.